Alright folks, this screencast will help explain why the Image Sitemap app will allow you to do some things that you haven't been able to do before with Shopify. So the first thing that happens is we ingest your entire product catalog and we find every image for every product. Then we compile a new and more comprehensive image sitemap and immediately submit it to Google on your behalf. From there, we also monitor any changes to your catalog and submit updates to Google in real time for you. So for the first time, you'll be able to see deep data associated with your indexed images. You can see here that we've submitted over 600 products with over 3,000 images and about 65% of our images have been indexed. So we can use this percentage as a baseline for future image SEO improvements, uh, perhaps something simple like including more descriptive language in our file names would be a good start. You can also see that we have a healthy sitemap with no warnings or errors and that it took about 30 seconds to process the last catalog change and resubmit a fresh image sitemap to Google with all the latest products, text, uh, removals, omissions, image updates, captions, and so on. Three other unique things that we show are the average image heights of our indexed images, a file similarity correlation, and what we call blackouts, or products that seem to have no indexed images at all. Here we see that the average height of our indexed images is about 1600 pixels. So this can be a really good indicator that our high quality images are being indexed. Or maybe we see a very low number here, like 600 pixels, and that might show that we're using a JavaScript image gallery that's preventing proper indexing. And next we can see the average correlations between file names and either product titles or product handles. A high correlation here is a huge predictor of successful indexing with Google. And you can see here that we have a very, very low correlation, which likely means that all of our images should be re-uploaded with more descriptive file names that closely match uh, the product title and the product handle. And here we can see a list of all the products for which there seem to be no indexed images at all. This can be heavily influenced by the file similarity correlations that we just spoke about. And furthermore, this could be something simple, like maybe we forgot to upload images, or perhaps some of the images are of a low quality. Uh, we picked them from the wrong folder. Uh, maybe the images are very hard for Google to distinguish. Uh, there could be a lot of reasons here, but this is the first step in starting to troubleshoot some of the gaps in our catalog indexing. Next, let's look at some of the specifics of how our new comprehensive image sitemap differs from the one that Shopify provides. First, we see the Shopify image sitemap. So if we look at a single product, here we have the Adario long sleeve shirt. And we can see maybe about 10, 15 lines of XML. It specifies a single image. It has a small caption that could be much, much better and we don't see any of the other images associated with this product. So if we look at our new image sitemap, uh, we can see that all of the different images are specified for Google to index, and we also have a comprehensive caption that includes you know, as much of the description, SKUs, weights, sizes, um, everything that we can put in here that would help Google understand what this product is. And depending on what type of products you have, this can also include colors and tags. As you can imagine, a comprehensive image sitemap for a store with a thousand products might compile to something like 30,000 lines of XML code. So it really is a monumental task to keep this document current and resubmitted to Google in real time on every catalog change like we do. And that's one of the reasons we're so excited about this application. So this concludes a very boring screencast about the image sitemap for Shopify app. And please reach out to us if you have any more questions. And um, very soon we'll be publishing some of our research from a lot of the data that we're aggregating from all of our different merchants on Shopify. So we look forward to working with you. And again, reach out to us anytime if you have any questions. Thank you.